Are you ready for the storm? Patty Hunsicker is running last-minute errands with her two dogs, Beanie and Lexi. Well, we live out in the country, so as you see, we're in town today and getting supplies. Because she might not be able to get them for a while. We have stocked up on dog treats. We got a full bag, of their big old bag of dog food. And, you know, you think about your dogs actually before you think about yourself. A dog owner with a plan for her pets before strong winds and rain from Hurricane Laura hit. I'll get their leashes on and I'll make them stay with me so they won't be wandering. I've always laughed that if I go, they're going to be, I mean, if they go, they're going to be flying through the air with me on the end of their leash because I'm not letting them go. Out of town, these dogs are also getting prepared for the storm at the DeSoto Animal Shelter. What we're doing is making sure we have all the supplies we need for these guys if we can't get to places or our vendors can't get here. They're servicing animals and even making room for those who may come from southern Louisiana. We do our best to accommodate and and, you know, we can certainly hold more for a very short term. Less animals in need now, but they know that's not always the case. Like Keila here, left in a rainstorm a few months ago. She was left on a lot tied to a tree just before we had storms coming through. It's why they want to emphasize pet owners keep their pets in mind. If they have collars, use a piece of duct tape with your name and address on it and phone number, and that way if they end up someplace else, people can find them easily. Jade Jackson, NBC6 News.